Hello and welcome back to Feed the Beast, I'm Brio Boy and in this episode I'm going to be teaching you all about how to keep bees. Now since the last episode, as you can probably see from behind me, I've been kind of hard at work building this sort of alchemist's area of my laboratories. Now this is sort of the lava bath, this is the brewing stand, and this is all going to get me ready for equipment exchange and something called Thorncraft, which we'll be going into in later episodes. I also set up this enchantment room. And I got some pretty cool stuff, you know, I got a Fortune 3 pickaxe, and I went mining, oh god, lots of zombies down there. <laughs> I went mining, and I found diamonds, and, I mean, each block of diamond, each diamond ore block, gives me, like, zombies, do you mind? Anyway, as I was saying, each diamond ore block gives me, like, three diamonds, so it's really cool, and I've got lots of diamonds now. And they're all legitimate as well, so that's really cool. But this episode isn't about that, it's about beekeeping. Uh, also, I set up this quarry, but I had to turn it off while I was recording, otherwise it would cause too much lag. But, let's go ahead and teach you how to do some bee stuff. So as you can see, I've uh, started to renovate this place. I've called it the Bree Hive. <laughs> I've fenced it off and added lots of flowers for where we're going to keep our apiaries. So, also I killed a creeper around here and he gave me this creeper head. That's kind of cool, I thought I'd put it above the door. So the first thing you're going to want to do to start off with beekeeping is make yourself two main machines. One of which is called a carpenter. And what you do for the carpenter is you make sturdy, was it sturdy metal casing or something? Sturdy casing, that's it. But you're also going to need it for another machine you're going to make uh, called a squeezer. So you make two of those and I think one of them is like this. Oh yeah, sorry. The uh, carpenter is like this. Yeah, there's the carpenter. Just take away this bronze. So that gives you a carpenter, and that's going to be useful later on, as I'll show you. And then you need tin to make the squeezer. Just like that. Squeezer. Now you're going to power these with sterling engines. Well, you could power them with with whatever engines you want, really, but I think sterling are good to get started with. So where are we going to put these? The main set of machines of what we're going to be doing. Let's put them here. Carpenter there. Squeezer there. Now, I'm just going to go see if I can get some sterling engines. Engines, engines, engines. Oh, yes, there we go. Three sterling engines. Perfect. Now we're going to get some coal. Plenty of that. And obviously this is where all my stuff in the quarry is going. So <laughs> I originally had this as crystal chest, but replaced it with diamond after it being just too laggy. So there we go. So we've got the engines and the coal. So we're going to put our sterling engine here and here. Going to top these up with coal. Top that one up with coal as well. And I think... I put some sort of organic items I found in this chest. Oh yeah, and also I went on a hunt and I found these um, bees here. But the first thing you want to do in order to find bees is make a tool called a scooper. Not a scooper, I think it's a scoop. And what the scoop does is it allows you to break the beehives without, um, you know, not getting any bees. Because I was previously breaking the beehives and I wasn't getting anything out of it and I was thinking, you know, what's going on? But it turns out you need one of these things called a scoop. So for that you're going to need some wool. Not four, you're just going to need one, but I'm not taking more just in case. So you put the wool up there and the stick in this sort of Y shape like this. There we go, that gives you a scoop. Now I think in episode one I came across a beehive and I didn't know what to do with it. Oh, look at this creeper. Oh, go away. Bugger off. <laughs> And I came across a beehive and I didn't know what to do with it. But now I do. So what I'm going to do is go find it and use this scoop to see if I can get any bees from it. So where is this thing? I think it's somewhere over here, isn't it? Oh my gosh. This seems about right. Over here on the search for bees. Yeah, it was up here, wasn't it? This rings a bell. Hoot! 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 Where was it? Here. I'm just guessing it's <laughs> straight 
on ish. Was it down here? Um, yeah, I think it was down here. Yeah, it was down here, that was it. There we go. So each bee is specific to its own biome. So if we break this here, we get two bees. Or was that one? Or was just one? So it's a marbled princess. So I guess marbled bees are what you get from the snow biome. Because snow, I don't know, is white like marble? <laughs> I don't really know. Let's see if we can get back home though. I can teach you what to start doing with these things. Home at last, the Bree Hive. Right. So, luckily, I've got two spare bees. And actually, I'll tell you what, before I just start doing this, I think I've got another beehive in my. Oh my god, there's a creeper. In my strip mine down here. Yeah, I remember. Oh god, these creepers are really fond of me today, aren't they? Go away. There's a beehive on the side of this wall here somewhere. I definitely remember this. Yeah, here it is. Let's break this. There we go, what we got here. Rocky Princess, yeah, because it's found underground. Cool. So, ideally, to start off a beehive, you need drones. Because you need to breed a princess with a drone to make a queen in an aviary. Now, the way you make an aviary, I think, is you're going to need to start off by putting some seeds. Do you have any seeds? You need to put some seeds in the carpenter. So, I don't know, I don't have any seeds right now. Um, I'll be right back when I've got some seeds. Okay, I've got some seeds, and now you're gonna need to put the seeds in the carpenter, not the carpenter, sorry, the squeezer, just like that. And you're gonna need some things called cans as well. I discovered them by accident in uh, the other episode, but I didn't know what to do with them. So they're not, there you go, cans, just like that. So what you do with cans is very simple. You just put them down at the bottom of the squeezer. And these sort of collect things in forestry. So what you need to do now is power this engine, the Sterling engine with a lever, obviously, and likewise with the other one, but the other one you need after you've made the seed oil can, which is what this thing makes. So there we go. What this is doing now is it's squeezing the seeds and it will create, I think, seed oil, and when this collects up enough, it will fill up this can, which turns it into a seed oil can. So there we go, seed oil, that's it. And once we've got enough seed oil, it'll fill up. As I say, it'll fill up the can, and then you get a seed oil can. And what we do is you put the seed oil can in the carpenter, I think, with uh, some logs. And what that does is create something. I'm not sure exactly, but yeah. So we've got plenty of logs here. I think great woods work fine actually. Oh, well, we've got some regular ones here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this uh, seed oil build up and fill up this can. So I'll be right back when this is filled up. It can be a really long process, so, you know, see you later. There we go. Now I've just got three seed oil cans from this. And now what you do is you put some oak wood in the carpenter, just like this. Ooh. Put it in first, or? Hmm. Maybe you need to power the engine first. Usually what you do is this. Hmm. Right, I'm an idiot. I wasn't doing anything wrong. All I was doing was I was right clicking to put the uh, oak wood in here and that doesn't work. So what you have to do is simply click. It's a very different interface. But you simply put the wood just like this and that will eventually make you I think that is impregnated casing. Now, you need to turn the engine on, obviously, to start powering this thing. And when this finally builds up, it will give you the impregnated casing. And 
you have to, this is like the, uh, the template for what it's going to make and this is the wood that it makes it out of. So you need to have that wood down there otherwise it will not work. Other things you're going to need include oak wood slabs, so just like this. And there we go. So I was searching spruce here to see if it would work with spruce wood planks. But it doesn't matter. Uh, spruce wood logs, sorry. But it, it doesn't matter. Any any sort of wood will work just fine. So there we go. It's all good. Let's just wait for this impregnated casing to make itself. And I was just planning on you know putting them out here. I've sort of you know done this thing with the flowers and everything because I think they need flowers to collect the honey. There we go. Impregnated casing. Now in order to make the aviary, you need to simply do this. So put the oak wood planks here, 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 and here. Put the impregnated casing in the middle. And put the oak wood slabs like that. There we go, there's your first apiary. That's it, sorry, not aviary. <laughs> aviary was bir is with birds. Ap a oh, apiary, is it? Oh, no. I'll put it there. Can I just draw it? Yeah. Okay. So there's our apiary. Now, I want to put it on this side for some reason. So let's just put it over here. Oh, I keep thinking that creeper heads a creeper. That's really scaring me. Uh, so we can eventually sort of organise it properly, but for now, let's just put him right in the middle so he gets lots of flowers. Now I'm going to get the water drones and the water princess that I got earlier on because you do need. Oh, what's going on here? Ah! <laughs> Help! Because you do need a drone and a princess in order for this to work. So let's get these. There we go. Water drone and water princess. Right. So let's put these things in here. So what you do is you put the water princess up here and the water drone down here. And what these will do is breed. I think, and turn into a water queen. There we go. Now all the bees will start flying out and start to, you know, create honey, all sorts, lots and lots of brilliant things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for these to generate some honeycomb and I'll be right back with the next thing you're going to want to build. Right, so what you're going to want now is somewhere to keep your bees. So what you need to do for that is get honeycomb, which you're going to get from the bees put it like this. And what we're going to do now, oh sorry, you need to make a chest first. So, make a chest. Put the chest in the middle. Put the honeycomb here. And put one piece of glass up here. And that gives you an apiarist's chest. So, we could probably put this outside. And it's just somewhere to keep your bees. It's quite cool. Let's just put it here. It has no animation like old chests do, and it just so little. It just shows you what sort of bees are in your area. So now I've only got one queen, but that's okay. So these will eventually, you know, generate these things. Oh, it says no flowers. So we need a few more flowers around it. So you need to have plenty of flowers, and it only seems to work with the yellow and red flowers, not with the modded flowers. So let's plant these around, you need lots and lots and lots and lots of flowers. Because anyone in their right mind will know that bees love flowers, right? So there should be enough by now. Ooh, still need more flowers, really? Hmm. There's definitely, there should be enough flowers here. That's loads. But anyway, I'll sort that out by next episode. But what this does is it's kind of like it kind of reminds me of the sort of sort of Pokemon storage system. <laughs> you can store bees in there, uh, but like nothing else, nothing else will go in there. So there we go. I hope this video is helpful. Next episode, I'll be teaching you how to make a bee analyzer so you can analyze your bees. 
and I'll show you how to advance with, you know, B technology. There's a block hovering above my head right now. Oh, this rose smells so delicious.